Hi, and welcome to this video about uh, Squid, a note-taking app for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, or really any Android tablet or phone with style support for that matter. This is the second video in the series I'm making. The last video I made was about OneNote, so check it out if you haven't yet. And let's roll. Hi, right, so uh, this is the regular checklist of what the ideal no taking up should consist of. Let's begin by taking a look at the writing experience. So, in Squid, the writing experience is pretty great. So, if we pretty similar to the one of OneNote, just that in OneNote, the text sort of shift, shifted and warped around as you wrote. But here, it stays in place. So, that's a good thing. And as you can see, it captures my handwriting really well. So I'll give that one a full rating. Awesome. Changing color. When it comes to changing color, you have all of these colors. Here you can change the opacity and sort of how bright the colors are. Here you have these six standard colors and then you have a recent tab. So uh, I think that's a really good thing. You can even choose your color this way. Let's just choose a cool color like this. So changing color works awesomely. Favorite pens. So you don't really have a pen tray like you do in OneNote so that's sort of a setback and also you only have this one pen type. Well, you also do that in OneNote, but as I will show you in a future video, uh, Incredible actually has multiple pen times, so of course that's an advantage. So I'll give the squid a great rating there. Highlighter. When it comes to the highlighter, it works well, You, but you have to first go to the pen tab and then change the highlighter. You don't like have it accessible here, so if you're like me and want to like switch between writing something and then choosing the highlighter, it sort of makes the process a lot slower. But like almost awesome because it would have been great with the sort of highlighting function that OneNote has. I mean, so this doesn't happen. So like if you highlight something multiple times, the text slowly fades away. Taking notes on images. So this is an image and it doesn't shift around while you write on it and that's the important thing. So straight away I'll give you an awesome reading there. Moving text and images. Let's see. This selector tool is here and you only have this lasso tool. You don't have a rectangular tool or something like that. So but the lasso tool works uh, well. It's maybe a bit slower, but at least you can be really precise when selecting something. And you can easily resize it vertically and horizontally and normally. So that's... That's a... Awesome writing, gestures. So when it comes to gestures, you can't really scroll with one finger for some reason. You have to use two and you can scroll. But uh, they've got a lock icon here, I'll give them that. So it makes it easier to scroll without zooming. Uh, yeah, so the zooming is pretty smooth, so I'll give you I'll give you a uh, great rating there. Easily move the stuff you select around with your finger too. And let's say we want to duplicate it. We could easily do that here straight away. It duplicates. We can do it a lot of times. And yeah, you can just cut it out like this. Let's say we want to change the color. We could do that. 
Yeah, the color changed of the pen. Again, and there the highlighter also changed to the same color. So, works with both the regular pen and the highlighter. Gestures, I'll give you an awesome rating. The S Pen button does erase, so that's one thing I'm looking for. Would have been great with the ability to make it switch to the selector tool. So I'll give you a great rating there. The eraser, the eraser works really great in Squid because you you have the option to choose between these two erasers. So the one that's called let's just see what it's called. The true eraser tool and the stroke eraser tool. So the stroke eraser tool. Amazing rating there. Zooming and scrolling works great. It's just that you can't scroll with one finger, so you have to first zoom in, choose the lock icon, and then you can zoom uh, scroll with the finger semi. So it's great rating there. They could implement a and sort of pen mode where you can scroll with one finger. Backgrounds, yeah. Backgrounds is where Squid really shines because you have the option to change your own size, so format, and in which direction it is. And what I really like is the simplicity in how you choose the size, you, which makes it a lot easier to print afterwards if you need that. And uh, yeah. You have all of these different backgrounds. So I guess if you're a coach, this is the app for you, like a hockey coach or basketball coach, and some productive templates. So uh, I'll give them an awesome rating there. The only drawback is maybe that uh, That you can't change the background color. Like if you choose this, for example, you can't choose a background color. You have to choose the blank one in order to choose a background color. So that's just for demonstration purposes. Change the background color. Okay. Annotating PDF. Annotating PDF is something. Uh, Squid is really good as, at two. You just choose uh, page actions and then insert PDF. You can do it that way and insert a PDF that any you want. Import PDF. Let's just choose this random article. So. I can tell you that it's really quick. It loads the PDF a lot faster than other apps do, and OneNote just won't do it at all. And here you get it straight away. You can annotate it the way you want. So like, cool, and well, it's a bit cumbersome to change between the pen and highlighter, but. The highlighter also works great in these PDF documents. You can easily highlight and write wherever you want in the PDF documents. And it's really smooth as you can see. Just like an important thing, let's see. We can also share it, so export and entire note. So <laughs> I've checked out some of the other apps and you can actually uh, export all the pages as PNG, but here you can, so that's awesome. Let's see if we can share it. It exports it to PNG. And uh, well, I normally use Tablet Messenger. Let's see if they have Tablet Messenger here for some reason. So I couldn't send it via WhatsApp. Then I would have to like choose save to device first and then send it that way but 
the uh, export smooth. Let's just try to let's see folders, subcategories, and searching. So when it comes to folders and subcategories, it's uh, Squid doesn't really handle it that well because you only have the option to add notebooks and you can't add any subfolders. So that's sort of a really that's really a deal breaker for sharing files. As I've already shown you in the PDF section, it works really well. Backup. When it comes to backup, Squid uses... Uh, I forgot. Backup and restore. So cloud backup. You have the option to choose Dropbox or Box. And it works well. It has worked well so far. It's a bit difficult because I'm used to using Google Drive, but it has that option, and that's the important thing, so that you don't lose your notes. Using on Android phone, so I'll have to get my note then. So this is what it looks like when you have the same app open on the Note 8 and on the Tab S6. And if we write something, test tab S6, and let's say you will write some, yeah, and we go out and out here. Let's see if the app sort of updates. No, it doesn't update as fast as it does on OneNote. So, so let's just draw a note. You can see what happens when we have something here on tab 6 and something else in the same note. Okay, so backup. I chose the create backup option and then I'll do the restore backup on the note 10. So the syncing function doesn't work as well as it does on the uh, on one note, but it really does sync well. You have a sync now option and you just have to make sure that you have one unit as your main unit and then you back up the files from there and restore it on another one. And when you restore your notes, everything else will be deleted. So only use one to actually make your notes. That's why I'm giving And here's what the actual one the no, is. app on your phone. So it works the same way as it does on your tablet. You have all the settings that you have on your tablet, all the colors, recent colors, and the uh, taking is smooth. Let's see. Works well. So let's put that. So cross platform syncing is okay because you can use an emulator such as BlueStacks. Split screen. Let's see what split screen is like. Open in split screen view. So you can write something here, change something there, then go back. And it works well. Let's see what it's like in pop-up view. So, the screen pop-up view too. You, let's just open Notion there. You can write as you want and change the opacity. Move it around, resize it. It's amazing. Let's make it full screen again. So that's an awesome reading. Widgets, yeah, so Squid only has these two widgets. One of them is to open a specific notebook, and the other one is to create a note. Which is great, would have been even better with sort of more uh, more widgets, maybe shortcuts to specific notebooks. Um, I mean, yeah, notebooks are not like folders. Dex experience, Dex. 
Yeah, I think I'll have to reopen it. So scroll. No, actually scrolling isn't that good as it is. On okay, so we got our mouse here. And like normal scrolling actually works with the mouse. You would like add the page. Yeah, control even zooms in. That's great. So, and you could scroll like this, but as soon as you're using this, it doesn't scroll. So as, you, as soon as you're using the mouse pad. Yeah, I can't seem to be a, yeah. Maybe I have to use the pen. Yeah, for some, yeah, I have to use the pen. But it's sort of weird, you can like put the text straight in the like typing field here. A new one sort of pops up. So you can't really see what the text is going to look like before you. it's actually there. So, uh, text uh, typing, the tab uh, six, let's see what it looks like. But it works, you could type some notes. Would have been great with the ability to like type in straight away and not deal with this box popping up. Back, choose settings, input methods. So you don't really have that many settings, but... Oh, you actually have the option to make the uh, S Pen button do a lot of different things. So, hmm, let's try making the uh, S Pen button the highlighter tool. So, let's see. Wow. Wow. I mean, if Squid just fixes, okay, I'll give them an amazing rating for that kind of customizability. So that's amazing. Not kind of surprising, it's okay. It's like $12 a month. And, well, to conclude, Squid is a great app. It's much better than what OneNote is right now. You have different backgrounds, formats, well, user-friendliness. But the thing that's holding me back from using this as my main note-taking app is just that uh, one folder is enough. I need subfolders, and Squid doesn't have this at the moment. So, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think about the video uh, and what app I should do next. Maybe lecture notes. That's what I was thinking. So, see ya.